there is a fundamental truth under there. We are mammals. We were cobbled into existence by the same processes of natural selection that shaped every other form of life on this planet. We do have certain hardwired responses that were forged in our evolutionary past, and anybody who thinks that their own behavior isn't at least partly informed by those legacy circuits has not been paying attention. So I'm going to talk about a couple of those circuits today. God is actually pretty easy to find. We think God got started in pareidolia, which is that cognitive glitch that allows you to see faces in the clouds, uh, Elvis in a burrito, that kind of thing. And we think that pareidolia arose as an anti-predator strategy. As it happens, I've just finished um, writing a novel that explores the functional utility of the religious impulse. So I'm going to steal an info dump from that book to help make my point. Look, Brooks wanted to say, 50,000 years ago, there were these three guys spread out across the plain, and they each heard something rustling in the grass. The first one thought it was a tiger, and he ran like hell. And it was a tiger, but the guy got away. The second one thought it was a tiger, and he ran like hell. But it was only the wind, and his friends all laughed at him for being such a chicken shit. But the third guy, he thought it was only the wind, so he shrugged it off, and a tiger had him for dinner. And the same thing happened a million times across 10,000 generations. And after a while, everyone was seeing tigers in the grass, even when there weren't any tigers, because even chicken shits have more kids than corpses do. And from those humble beginnings, we learned to see faces in the clouds and portents in the stars, to see agency and randomness, because natural selection favors the paranoid. Even now, we are wired to believe that unseen things are watching us. And it came to pass that certain people figured out how to use that. They painted their faces, or they wore funny hats. They shook their rattles and waved their crosses, and they said, yes, there are tigers in the grass, there are faces in the sky, and they will be very angry if you do not obey their commandments. You must make offerings to appease them. You must bring grain and gold and altar boys for our delectation, or they will strike you down and send you to the awful place. And people believed them by the billions, because after all, they could see the invisible tigers. <laughs> 